Hi friends, it's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I want to give a quick tip here today on setting up a plot plan. I have created this uh, plot plan, just a basic sketch I created, gave it a scale, and turned it into a PDF. I've drawn this house, um, but as you'll notice, this house is rotated off it. it it's not uh, true north, if you will, according to this plot plan. So I'm going to drag this PDF plot plan that I created onto my Chief Architect screen, and you'll notice it's wanting to import that page. Click OK. Uh, this layer is not displayed. Yes, I'm going to display it. There we go. Um, so the first order of business is I need to scale it up. If you have a scale on the plot plan like this, that's wonderful. Otherwise, I've got other videos on how to scale um, drawings. But uh, when, it, when it's created like this and, and actually on a level, square, horizontal, vertical um, orientation to the PDF, we can use select the PDF and use this tool down here called point to point resize. So I'm going to click on this point over here and this length so point A to point B I'm going to tell it that needs to be 90 feet and so when I zoom out that is a drawing to scale. Uh, next is I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to hit F10 on my keyboard so I re remove angle snaps. I'm going to draw a line parallel to this front wall. And when I open that line, that angle is 14.88 whatever. I'm going to highlight that and copy, Control C. And then I will rotate, transform replicate the object and rotate it a minus and control V to paste it in 14 point whatever right and now I'll move this into place once again I'll do my point to point here and drop it right over here pretty close right um, so the reason I want to rotate the plot plan instead of the uh, building itself is I don't want to go into my um, architectural plans or my framing plans or any of those and have to deal with say my dimensions and get those at a 14.8 degree angle I, I want to keep my text you know um, horizontal whoops text etc I, I want it I want this square and especially even on my pages I don't want subsequent pages I don't want my plan rotated and I don't want to be rotating each all 15 of those pages um, for you know 14.88 whatever de degrees again I want just to do this once and I'm gonna do it on my plot plan so let's create another um, I'm going to create a template here, create a layout file from a template. And so you'll see this then. Here's my, I'm going to send this at quarter inch scale. Uh, wrong file. There we go. There we go. Send that one to quarter inch scale. And then I'm going to switch to plot plan and I will send this at one inch equals 30 feet 130 now I will uh, rotate this one this this uh, layout border that uh, minus 14 control paste again whoops other direction positive. We did minus earlier, so now I have to do positive. That's right. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to 
take these, square them up on my layout box. This is X15, by the way. I don't, was it back to X10 when we were allowed to change the um, shape of layout boxes? There we go. And, and I can even like break the layout box and move it like that but that works here so now my my north is up or however the surveyor drew it it could be you know 27.2 degrees this direction if that's how the surveyor drew it but um this way my my let's go here and i'm going to throw on some automatic dimensions here and you'll notice all of my dimensions are correct, you know, to the to the building and rotated, got my got my uh, plot plan oriented the way that uh, the, the the surveyor drew it up uh, from here. Right. It's it's pretty simple. Then now I just uh, I'm going to turn off my hit F10 and turn off my angle snaps. It's pretty simple to outline the property i'm just going to right click and drag a line from corner to corner and then i don't have to hold my mount my mouse button down anymore i just left click at each corner this is fairly straightforward property plot there we go i could take this even and show a 25 foot set back if we wanted there you go there's a 25 foot setback and all of that is now shown on your on your plot rotated and oriented properly i hope that's helpful thanks so much for following along if you like this click like and subscribe hit the notification bell i'll catch you next time